Welcome to the um, third installment of the uh, Giga Nevada drone coverage. We're all anticipating the um, start of the $3.6 billion expansion. And at the beginning of this video, you saw what it's going to look like. What we're looking at here is the uh, existing parking lot that fills in that empty area of the building. Um, we're looking south. and that parking area where those cars are on Saturday morning is going to be where the bulk of the expansion will, will go. The southern portion of it will be 4680 battery production, and the more northern section is the actual high-volume semi-production. And so we're flying over on the right. You'll see a bit of a parking lot there. I believe that that was existing for overflow parking but they're gonna need a lot of parking over there as seen in the entry, uh, in the intro um, clip of the um, rendering of the what the factory is gonna look like. And this is not a large amount of um, building that they need to add, which may explain why they haven't started it because once they commence the construction, as we've seen in Giga Texas, they can put up um, they can put in pilings and put up walls and, and, and build, a, build a building in an amazingly quick amount of time. So I think they're pacing themselves, possibly conserving capital expenditures because the um, stock market is so uh, worried about quarterly uh, profits and they don't want to spend money, the money on that capital expenditure too soon before they'll actually they're actually ready with the final design of the Tesla, which I understand a new and improved design is in the works. Um, and we'll talk more about that in a little bit. Right, this, by the way, this is the actual first time I've actually circumnavigated the entire building. And so there's several firsts here that I'll point out, but um, one of them is about to come up. But this is getting my comfort and Joe Tegmeyer um, of uh, Gigan, Texas um, fame has been coaching me and giving me tips. And uh, I really appreciate Joe and I want to give him a huge shout out. Um, he, he's been very encouraging and um, I've been messaging him and getting tips. So we just, I just flew over the corner of the building, first time ever that I've had the, uh, I don't know, you might call it courage, but uh, the comfort to do that. <clears throat> I am not an experienced drone pilot, so I'm learning and you guys are watching me learn. And um, I expect um, there'll be major improvement over time. And I do appreciate comments uh, and I, I have been incorporating them and I, I will continue to incorporate the ones that make sense, but maybe not as quickly as you would like. So I am, this is now the south end of the building. Those are the mega chargers that the, that the uh, semis come in, use to charge after their, um, their uh, runs to Auburn and um, other shorter runs that they make to put um, miles and hours on the semi. And uh, after a run up to Auburn, they come back and I believe they run south to the um, Silver Springs roundabout and then come back and then they come up here and charge. And now we're flying over the southern, uh, I should say the uh, eastern end of the building where the sun rises first in the morning. And you can see that this is where all of the uh, loading bays are. No uh, material 
is loaded on the western side where the employee entrance is and the parking lot is. It's all back here. And um, yeah, pretty interesting flyover. Again, this will serve as a baseline. Here's a switch yard. And this is a little sketchy. Um, this drone does have obstacle detection, but I will remember, this is my first time doing this full circumnavigation and in the future, I don't, I honestly don't think I was very close at all. I've got the um, lens on zoom on this uh, DJI Air 3 drone, which is pretty much the latest and greatest in their technology. It has the longest flight time. It's not the most expensive drone they make, but it includes um, the uh, FAA required um, identification uh, and it um, has the longest flying time because it's lighter than the uh, some of the other DJI, well actually I should say the one other DJI drone that is actually more expensive and has a few more features. This is more appropriate for this and, the, and by the way this is what Joe Tegmeyer recently purchased and what he recommended I get and that's why I have it because of Joe. I have joked that um, I wish this drone had um, Joe mode like my Tesla, but in the case of the drone, it would be Joe Tegmeyer mode. Um, then it would be able to be a much more sophisticated uh, experience for you guys. This is the end of the, uh, this is the uh, north end of the Gigafactory Nevada. Rumor has it that all of the well, we know all of the um, megacharger production has been moved out of there. There's a very strong uh, rumor that there is a new semi-prototype line being assembled in there. And we'll see if we can get any more information on that. As you know, Tesla's very tight-lipped about that. And um, we may not know for some period of time, but I think there's a good chance that they're um, building a new line in there and it will be the prototype the final prototype um, before the, the the expansion is completed and allow them to tune it tune this line before um, this section of the building that we're looking at now is completed and um, and they put in the huge volume production that's expected here's the parking lot that we flew over at the beginning and have now circumnavigated the entire um, structure and um, looking forward to the day when the sun rises over the east, eastern Nevada desert and mountains um, on a completed Giga Nevada expansion and hundreds of semis are coming out. Thanks. Oh,